what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel check it out there's my beloved 67 this particular uh, vehicle came in it's it's a big 650 750 application and um, we had uh, you can check out my Instagram you can check out uh, the number four piston how it was slapping back in the cylinder um, this truck's got about 140,000 miles on it and definitely a lot of engine hours. Guy had all of his maintenance records and everything, so it's definitely under warranty working around uh, air brakes. Put the cylinder heads on yesterday and just starting uh, pretty much the rest of installation here. Uh, with the fuel system and I wanted to go over a few things I don't know if anybody's ever had to mess with well if you're replacing a short block you are but uh, if anybody's had to uh, re-o-ring their injectors for reuse I've already gone ahead and did two out of the eight and thought well you know what it would be a perfect time for me to show you guys uh, what you need to do so these are some of the tools that I use. I'm gonna be using just this setup of stuff. I uh, brake clean, and you're gonna need uh, a couple of these uh, Scotch-Brite pads here to aid in the cleanliness of the injectors. Now, if you guys notice, currently how this engine sits, it's facing forward, so vice versa. I am the engine facing forward, and these are the fuel injectors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the front of the engine, right side, left side. So I've already cleaned four and three and then came to a realization that maybe you guys want to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of the six. Uh, so they look pretty much like that. Gonna keep them in the same order. We're replacing three components on each injector. Uh, they came in a sealed bag in the valve grind kit seal installation box that you gonna need to replace your short block uh, and these are all of our all of our o-rings so all right let's get to it all right this is a uh, definitely a unique spot so we don't uh, we don't ever get to get a viewpoint like this but nonetheless here we go um, like I said I've already showed you the, the few tools I'm gonna use gonna keep all the uh, old stuff accounted for and definitely keep all the uh, injectors in the same order. So what I first start off with is getting this copper gasket off. Uh, make note to uh, not damage any of this stuff up here. You know, obviously keep debris out of here. I've been keeping this whole area clean. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take my razor blade. I'm just gonna insert it between the crack here of the base of the injector. Sometimes it's a little uh, tough because of all the carbon. You can see the carbon already falling out okay I just broke the seal and just gonna work it up like that I'm gonna come here with my diagonal cutters and I'm just I didn't even apply any pressure I mean I wasn't dragging it I just pulled the the copper gasket off so once that's off we're gonna go ahead for the orange o-ring I'd advise you to do one at a time just so that uh, if you're uh, not good with remembering stuff you can remember what groove uh, it went in by looking at the other injectors uh, and then you guys can see I just took off the black one just rolled it right off the injector return um, and then your injector is gonna look just like this um, so the next step I like to do is uh, let's see if we can get a little a little light on here um, is I like to clean out all this carbon buildup right here. So what I like to do is I just get my my pick and I'm just slowly working around, just kind of like if you're picking picking your teeth here. Um, try not to skewer yourself, obviously. Get all that nasty stuff out of here. I want to ensure that our copper gasket's not going to be inhibited from from sealing. Get all that off. And then the next thing I like to do is I am get my scotch brake pad here and I just give it a little soak with some brake clean, just like that. And I'm going to do this for every injector, but I'm not going to zoom in and show you. Um, but I'm simply just going to wrap it around there and I'm pushing my hands together right now to try to force that scotch brake down there around that groove and around the tip like this. 
make it all down here on the end. And then it's going to look just like that. Look how nice and clean that looks. So we give it a one final wipe here. I get my clean rag. And give it a little douche of some brake clean. And then I take the whole injector body and just wipe everything, wipe everything off so that our injector is just like this. Cool. So now that that's done, let's get this off and go back out. Now we take our clean gaskets that I have over here and I'm simply just going to work that around like that. No big deal. I'm going to take my compression gasket and push that just on a little bit. I can't really push it that far on. So that's why I get my 10 mil quarter drive. Watch that magnet on the razor blade. I just working, working the copper gasket down until it is seated all the way like that. Can't see any light through it. Um, copper gasket, um, let's go back to the focus here, is the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter what side you put down first. Um, and then lastly, we're gonna get our orange injector body O-ring. Gonna roll it down right past the first groove. I'm gonna stick my screwdriver like this and get it. Roll it up onto the next, the next body part of the injector. And this one's a little small little groove. We're going to the next groove and you can usually use your finger to roll that right out of its little groove. This is where we are staying right here. Okay, so injector number two, complete, clean, and going back in its correct location. All right, let's get number one done here. All right, let's see if we can bust through this. All right, you guys, so we got all eight injectors prepped, cleaned, ready to go in. Um, I have my fuel rails on and loose. Both of them are ready to go. Just a jiggly wiggly. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is to put them in, but I would rather show you guys the procedure and how to put that in. Uh, uh, 
in the truck versus on the engine stand. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section if you guys have had to have done just what I did here. Um, I'll make sure to make it like link a description to the uh, uh, in the description of the video I did replacing the number two injector on a uh, pickup uh, six seven. So all right, you guys, get some swag, hit them stickers, and uh, smash that like and sub. I'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching.